Most children and young people thrive emotionally, even with the ups and downs of life, with the support of their parents and carers, their brothers, sisters and friends, and other important adults in their lives. We don't just want to wait until things go wrong to help them thrive. If everyone works together, we can take steps to encourage good emotional health. Some of these can be small things, and others, big things. But even if we all work to provide and promote good, active, emotional well-being, some children and young people develop additional emotional needs. There are times when it can be helpful for a trusted person to give useful advice about what might help, or give advice and signposting to know what the options are. Occasionally, young people don't want help, but the adults around them, or their siblings or friends, are worried. And when this happens, all the people need to work together to keep children and young people safe. And if we can help them keep safe and build trust, it might also be useful for some to get more help. For some children and young people, we know lots of help will be needed from across the community, and that others will need less. There are many things that are known to be effective in helping us feel okay, so that we can cope better with the ups and downs. Getting the support needed starts with someone noticing and listening, being interested in others. If we work together, these conversations are the first steps in understanding a child or young person's emotional needs, and to think with them about choosing the right advice, help or support to meet their needs. Sometimes talking and really trying hard to see things from their point of view might even be enough on its own to help someone get back to thriving. So let's work together to ensure that children, young people and their families' emotional health and well-being is everyone's business and help them to thrive.